In the new year, registered dietitian Susan Moores is at Kowalski's Market in Uptown with new foods to eat in the new year. Welcome, Susan. How are you today? Thanks. Great. Glad to be here. Oh, yeah. At this hour, I'm sure, is your top <laughs> thing on your list. But you brought a list of things, and I think there could be 12 altogether. So we'll have you get started and let us know what's new for 2012 that we should be putting in our bodies. Great. Well, the first thing is terrific that is greens. And there's certainly lettuces and stuff, but what's coming on trend for the new year are these deep dark greens like kale and chard and a lot of folks won't know necessarily what to do with it so we've got in our deli salad several kale salads and this one is a crispy kale salad that's great with some citrus so if you don't want to jump in and figure it out yourself try something out of the deli and then it's really they're very easy to work with and so so great for you in terms of nutrition and, and Susan is that the big difference is in versus a traditional iceberg lettuce that these just have so much more traditional value they have, they're a bigger powerhouse than something like a romaine and certainly something like an iceberg. So they have a whole lot of nutrition and really a small volume, and that's always a great thing. Great. Right. What else is on the list? Well, we brought in a different fish. A barramundi is what it's called. It's a white fish. It's somewhat sort of a mild fish, so it's a great starter fish for a lot of people. And it's rich in omega-3s, which is what folks are looking for when they're thinking about fish, but really a mild-tasting fish. And most importantly for a lot of people is that sort of sustainability, and barramundi is very well cared for and considered a very sustainable fish. Okay, we're under a minute. We're going to have you just run down the list, Susan. Yep, you bet. Quinoa, a great grain, a great switch out for brown rice, rich in protein, rich in fiber, and vitamins and minerals. Kefir, terrific because of the calcium and the vitamin D, but it's got extra good bacteria compared to yogurt, so a super great food to add in. Potassium rich foods, just because we're talking a lot about sodium, but if you bump up the potassium, sometimes sodium isn't as big a concern. And then I think one of the most important resolutions for folks is to try a new food every year or excuse me every week and so put in your basket if you can make a resolution to try one new food there's thousands of foods in the grocery store and if you can put one new one in every day or every week it's a great way to get that new year launched what is that well, what thing? is that <laughs> this is a buddha's hand it's like a citrus fruit and really kind of fun to pull out and uh use zests of or add it to salads and then this is a horned melon and again, something you cut in half and then you eat the inside out that way. Susan Morris, registered dietitian, worked with Kowalski this morning. Thank you so much for your time. Happy You're New welcome. Year. We're going to have all this Thanks. information that Susan just mentioned at carolivid.com this morning. Just check under the sunrise section. Notice she spent a lot of time in the produce section. She did so indeed. if that's your first stop, that's a good place to go. Mm -hmm. We have more